one of the most powerful and elusive predators on the planet. The jaguar is the largest cat in the Americas and the third largest in the world. They are also the only member of the genus Panthera in the Western Hemisphere. They favour the jungles, wetlands and grasslands of South and Central America. Across many cultures, the jaguar is a symbol of power and strength, and is also the national am animal of Guyana, featured on its coat of arms. The jaguar is a heavily built animal, with well-muscled legs to help it tackle large prey. Jaguars are predominantly orange to yellow in coloration, with black rosettes across its body. However, jaguars can also experience melanism, a genetic mutation that gives the jaguar that it is born with a black coloration. These jaguars are often nicknamed black panthers, once thought to be a separate species. The jaguar's coloration helps it camouflage in dense vegetation with patchy shadows. Black jaguars are perhaps even more camouflaged, taking advantage of the shadows of the jungle during both the day and the night, where it can appear as almost invisible. These species also experience sexual dimorphism, with males being much larger than the females. The size of jaguars also varies based on their habitat, with jaguars in forest areas being smaller than those living in wetlands and grasslands that are larger. The jaguar has often been confused with the leopard, and they are very similar, but there are some key differences. Jaguars are stockier and bigger than leopards. Their pattern has fewer and larger rosettes than a leopard, and the jaguars have small spots on the insides of their rosettes. Jaguars live in South and Central America, whereas leopards live throughout Africa and Eurasia. Jaguars also have a much larger head than leopards. This large head gives the jaguar a more powerful bite. The tail of the jaguar is also much shorter than a leopard, less adapted for an arboreal lifestyle, as leopards tend to spend more time in trees, while jaguars are more inclined to spend more time around water, being one of the most aquatic of all cats. Jaguars are very adaptable and versatile predators, able to be found across nearly all South and Central America, and even occasionally into the southern United States. Through extensive hunting, persecution and habitat loss, the jaguar's range has declined, but it is still found in many countries including Peru, Brazil, Guyana, Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Ecuador, among various others, as well as also being occasionally sighted in the states of New Mexico, Texas and Arizona. Within these regions, they can also be found in a variety of habitats, from dense jungles to open grasslands, and from cloud forests in the mountains to rivers and wetlands. As a well-adapted swimmer, jaguars will often live around bodies of water where they can find plenty of prey. The largest concentrations of wild jaguars are found in the Amazon rainforest, and most famously in the world's largest tropical wetland, Brazil's Pantanal. As an apex predator, jaguars don't necessarily compete with many other predators. As other predators in their ecosystem like caiman, anaconda and giant otters can all fall prey to the jaguar. Most notably is the caiman, which jaguars, particularly in the Pantanal, will look at as a primary food source. Aside from local predators, jaguars will also feed on a range of other animals, such as capybara, tapirs, anteaters, peccaries, deer, turtles and tortoises, among a variety of others. It is often speculated that jaguars evolved to be able to hunt difficult and potentially dangerous prey, being equipped with many abilities that are helpful in tackling such a range of prey. The primary weapon of these kills is the jaguar's powerful bite. A single crushing bite to the back of the skull and into the brain of a caiman or a capybara is enough to successfully kill its prey. In terms of a jaguar hunt, depending on where it lives, the jaguar will utilise many different aspects of their environment to its advantage. High vantage points like an overhanging branch or a steep riverbank blanketed in dense vegetation, and densely forested areas provide perfect cover for the jaguar to approach its prey. However, unlike most big cats, Jaguars will also use the water as a hunting ground, slowly swimming through the water towards its prey. This is, however, primarily, primarily used to hunt semi-aquatic animals like capybara and caiman. In the wild, jaguars are not very social, only being found with another of their kind during the breeding season when, uh, and when a mother jaguar is raising cubs. Jaguars have large territories that, between males and females, can exceed 100 square kilometres, depending on the population density of a given area. Like many wild cats, jaguars will sometimes form a coalition with another jaguar, whether it be a related individual or a mate. Like many big cats, jaguars are capable of a roar, which is used as a long-distance communication method. However, they are perhaps better known for their, their hoarse growl. Chuffing will also be used in greetings and courtship. 
Female jaguars become sexually mature at around 2.5 years of age, while males take a little longer, being mature at 3 to 4 years. A mother may have as many as four cubs. The cubs are weaned off their mother's milk at around three months and will leave for independence after about two years. Jaguars don't live very long lives, at least compared to us as humans, with individuals in the wild often not exceeding 11 years. However, jaguars in ca captivity can live for twice as long, up to 22 years. Despite being listed as near threatened, the jaguar is not invulnerable to the changes occurring in Central and South America, particularly in terms of deforestation and habitat loss. Vast swathes of, in, of untouched rainforest, prime jaguar territory have been lost. This is one of the primary reasons jaguars have seen population decline, as with this disruption comes the loss of suitable prey. Animals like primates, tapirs and capybara won't live in a deforested landscape. The conversion of tropical grasslands and scrublands like the Brazilian Cerrado, Argentinian Pampas and the Gran Chaco of Bolivia, Paraguay and Argentina into farmland is also a major threat. There are, however, more direct threats to the jaguar. Over the last century, the pelts of big cats have become widely popular in international trade. In South America, the jaguar was a prime target, with thousands of jaguars being killed yearly in Brazil alone. Until sites, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species was enacted in 1973, which greatly reduced the number of jaguars being hunted. However, in recent years, poaching for jaguar body parts to be sold as jewellery and to be used in traditional medicines in Central and South American countries has also been proliferating. But also they are being sold abroad in other countries, particularly in China. Like many other species like the tiger, the rhinoceros and pangolin, Particular parts of their bodies were claimed to have medicinal properties and magical powers. Scientific testing has, however, disproved that any of these animals, including the jaguar, do not possess medicinal benefits. Though poaching is a major problem, the persecution of jaguars has also been a driving decline. As habitat has been lost, jaguars have been forced to venture into unfamiliar habitat, most notably in farmland, where they will often prey upon livestock. This is obviously not okay with the farmers, so unfortunately the jaguars are baited, trapped, and most of the time, killed via gunshot. There is, however, a glimmer of hope that jaguars can be protected. And though breeding programs are important, the best way to protect wild jaguars is through wildlife sanctuaries and reserves that protect their habitat and their prey. In just about every country that jaguars can be found, the hunting of them is prohibited. The establishment of wildlife corridors is also very important to allow jaguars to roam freely between populations and in between human areas as well. As jaguars are likely not going to be able to con confine themselves to protected areas, the attitudes towards them outside of these reserves needs to be changed, as the human element in any conservation project is critical in protecting animal species, particularly when it comes to large predators. A major way that jaguars have been given more value, more alive than dead, is through ecotourism, when people want to pay money to come out into the wild to have a chance at seeing one of these magnificent cats in, natural, in its natural habitat. One of the most notable jaguar tourism hotspots is the Pantanal Mato Grossense National Park, where these cats can be seen often due to a good population density and the bonus of seeing the other animals in that ecosystem that it still supports. A recent study in 2022 showed that the restoration of large mammal populations across areas where they have become absent is a critical movement in restoring over a quarter of the world's land area, which can be a vital element in tackling climate change. Out of 20 large mammal species around the world, the jaguar is also on the list, as it is an animal that controls the populations of animals like the capybara, which are populous in areas where jaguars are absent. In Argentina's Ibra National Park, jaguars were reintroduced in 2020 and have since had a profound impact in restoring the Ibra wetlands. Jaguars are magnificent, powerful and astonishing big cats, one of the most incredible predators the world has ever seen, dominating the wetlands, grasslands, forests and jungles of the Americas. Though it faces many hardships in our changing world, this adaptable and resilient species continues to survive, and with our help, it can continue to amaze us into the future.